Uh, welcome back. Uh, thanks for sticking with us. Sorry, I had to go down for a minute. My battery had ran out of juice. Uh, for those of you who are watching, we're down here at the Ber Berkeley Martin Luther King Jr. Civic Center. I'm pretty sure Martin Luther King wouldn't have endorsed the continuous harassment of homeless people. Anyway, thanks for coming back. And this is your live streamer, Freeman Sullivan. And we're here at 2180 Millia Street in downtown Berkeley. Where right now, uh, the homeless have been evicted from the front of the Berkeley Art Civic Center. And now uh, we have the Department of Public Works crews uh, cleaning up what is meant to be the blood of the homeless off the steps of the building. And just to let you know, for uh, people that are watching, this is not an unusual occurrence uh, when people power watch, when DBW power watches homeless. Uh, basically, they take and they confiscate all people's belongings. And this is stuff that people need to survive. Right? We're talking about when your blankets get wet, when you're homeless, and your bedding gets wet, well, then you actually face hypothermia, and you could die out here in the streets, even here in beautiful California. No, hon, you do whatever you need to do, hon. That's all you want. That was Barbara Bra. Uh, but you could uh, donate money if you'd like to get a hold of her. Her number is 510-717-0181. Anyway, we're going to move back here from the power watching because I'm not going to be able to get a good picture for you anyway. Alright, so we're going to move back from this. Hi, Carol. Hi, Carol. How you doing? Oh, uh, good. Yeah. Thanks for being here. And that's Carol Woolsey. Uh, could you give us a description about what's going on out here, Carol? Well, I just got out of here. They're uh, keeping a lot of people out. And uh, we set up a vigil here for this morning, and we're asking people to come down for our housing, not handcuffs, uh, vigil from 6 o'clock to 10 o'clock this morning. And where was that located? Uh, here on the corner of Alton Way and Milvia at the Berkeley City Hall. And uh, homeless people are being removed again. On Friday they were removed violently and we are hoping for people to come down and support us. The city of Berkeley is spending, as you can see right now, thousands of dollars each moment uh, to uh, move people who do not have housing again and again. So the city has spent over, they've reported they've spent over $5 million in removing people from uh, encampments. We're wanting to get an intentional tent encampment to the city. The city has so far not produced any documents letting us know where they're um, the city has not given us any documents letting us know where city properties are and we will be continuing to research that and to look for a safe place for an intentional encampment and 
Clark, I just want to thank you for your work uh, streaming this. And I also want to thank all the people who bring food. Barbara, who brings food, who was violently arrested last week. I want to thank all the people who uh, have donated clothing, who have brought um, different kinds of support, uh, medical supplies and health to this camp, to this community. Because it isn't just like we are helping the homeless. It's that in this country now, we are all facing serious economic problems. We're facing serious environmental problems. We're facing all kinds of uh, unknown situations with the political uh, circus that's going on. So what we want is people to work together. And I've learned more from the people who live here than I have in my four years at university on how to survive and how to uh, organize and how to be part of our culture. So thank you, Clark. Okay, that was, uh, well, how do you pronounce your last name? Wolfley. 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 Wolfley, I'm sorry. Wolfley. Okay, that was Carol Wolfley. Uh, she uh, is with uh, KBFA Radio here in the city of Berkeley, 94.1 on your FM dial. So uh, tune in. Uh, KPFA is a public funded, publicly funded radio station, so the people that are listening are actually the people that pay for the station. And KPFA was actually the first public radio station here in the United States. So thank you, Carol. Thank you, Clark. And I'll just say I'm a member of the KPFA Community Advisory Board, and we always want to hear about your news. We want to hear what it is that you out there watching um, are interested in, and we want to have live streaming so you can get up to the minute news. So let us know what you want at uh, KPFA and you can go to the website kpfa.org. Thank you. Thank you, Carol. And listen in to Cat Brooks this morning on Upfront because I think she'll have something to say about what's going on. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Cat Brooks is one of the lead organizers with the Anti-Police Terror Project. So uh, do tune in if you're here in the... Yeah, and if you're not in the Berkeley area, the URL is kpfa.org, uh, where you can get more information and uh, that's happening with this protest, in addition to this live stream. Don't log off of the live stream. Stick with the live stream. Anyway, thanks a lot. Anyway, uh, we're cruiser are busy trying to clear out the front of the building here. Uh, we're live from downtown Berkeley. Uh, which was a little brighter outside so you could see what's going on. But approximately so far between 25 and 30 homeless people that have banded together here at the front of the building uh, in uh, mutual aid to provide some sort of safety um, from police attack. And not only police attack but also uh, vigilante and people that are attacking the building. And I've noticed they just turned the lights off in the building. Hey, that's somebody's property, sir! Sir! Alright, he just walked off with somebody's property. Okay. So, uh, today they're not confis... It doesn't seem like they're confiscating people's property today. And if I sound a little slow or whatever, it's only because I've only slept about three hours. So I'm a little, I'm a little slow on the uptake this morning, folks. Yeah, thanks for. Thanks for retweeting me out there, uh, Mr. Orbit. I very much appreciate that.
As you can see, people are steadily moving their belongings further and further away from the front of City Hall. Or so I keep wanting to say City Hall. City Hall is actually a block west of here. Uh, this is the Berkeley Civic Center, Martin Luther King Jr. Civic Center. And of course they don't want people to see what's going on. Uh, basically uh, the steps are covered in red paint that is now being power washed away. And uh, it's 2180 Melvia for the address by the way folks. But they did shut off the power. We did have lights on the front of the building. It's curiously enough that they leave the lights on all night but when the cops move in to do their dirty work they turn the lights out so people can't see. So. And we only pull in here, um, this is Barbara's vehicle, so if you'd like to help the homeless here in Berkeley, you can do so, right there. Uh, the URL is at the bottom, consider the homeless. And Barbara feeds people every night here in the streets of Berkeley. So, there you go. Right now, uh, police are power washing. It's a little dark. They've turned the lights out so we can't see, of course. There is no transparency within the police department. And, uh, you know, turning the lights out on, on people that are working, um, this is pretty uh, normal for the police. Uh, it is their MO. I'm going to back away. I just wanted to give you a little chance to see what was going on. Boy, I got a heartburn like a mo this morning, folks. I generally don't even get sick, but the last few days that I've spent, I can only tell you that living on the streets is not an easy proposition. Uh, you get very little sleep. Uh, you're constantly under duress, and uh, and then on top of that, all you have to deal with a exceedingly hostile police force. You know, don't don't uh, be fooled, people. These 
these police officers that are all standing around here trying to be nice have uh, physically attacked the homeless people here in the in the past uh, as recently as three days ago four people are injured by police officers who violently arrested people merely for asking questions of them like where is my property going to go uh, and that sort of thing uh, yesterday morning on Sunday uh, five police officers came out here offering the homeless coffee and donuts uh, who knows why uh, maybe it's the good cop bad cop scenario Excuse the comment, folks. I, I'm in the middle of a chest cold. I got one officer in my rear here. I kind of have to watch. Because as you guys know, I have been attacked by police officers in the past at different demonstrations that I've covered. Um, Although I do my best to not to comply with order as a as a member of the of the press. Anyway, we're live here on the streets of Berkeley, California, downtown Berkeley. Uh, scene of many protests since the early 60s. Uh, the free speech movement started here in Berkeley. Uh, we've also, uh, Berkeley's uh, very much a hotbed of activism here in the United States. Uh, unfortunately, the police don't, the police uh, are not activist police. Uh, they're not really doing anything to help reform uh, police departments across the United States. Berkeley police as recently as two years ago uh, were attacking Black Lives Matter protesters uh, using uh, uh, the uh, California uh, Highway Patrol had two undercover officers about two blocks north of here at Trader Joe's and they were using the police officers as agents provocateurs to uh, try to get people uh, to uh, riled up into violence. Well, people didn't. Somebody spotted these cops and said, uh, 5 0, 5 0. And uh, we're going to move down. We're going to keep moving down a little bit. Well, right across the street here, this is the YMCA. Yeah, sure, no problem. Thank you. Here, let me get over here. We're going to have to take down the tape. So we can get the car through. We'll be able to slip it under. Don't worry about it. Leave it alone. Fuck! Keep my press pass. <laughs> I should have my tag out. I usually don't wear my tag. Because uh, I'm not trying not to be separate from these people out here. We have a lot of people out here. We have uh, three people that are in wheelchairs. Uh, people out here have all sorts of health problems. Uh, there's one gentleman. Um, he has a problem with constant incontinence. And he... Uh, you know, he never knows when he's going to have to use the bathroom. So you can imagine what a horror show it is to be out here on the streets of Berkeley 
and there's very few public restrooms here in Berkeley. There's a couple, but there's not a lot. So, you know, when you feel the call of nature and you have to go, uh, there's not, there's actually no place to go in, in the night to use the bathroom. So you're forced to urinate and defecate here on the streets because there's no bathrooms. Anyway, the sun's coming up uh, slowly but surely, and we'll be getting some more light on the situation. Um, I see a couple of people. Uh, uh, one of our legal team is here, and uh, maybe we can get a few words from her. Thank you. Um, uh, my name is uh, Clark Freeman Sullivan. I'm a live streamer. I'd like to ask you a few questions about what's going on out here. Sure. And uh, may I have your name, please? Olivia Debris. And how do you spell your last name? Uh, D-E-B-R-E-E. -E. Okay. And uh, what uh, what is your function out here uh, as an attorney, I, you know, our legal team, you are an attorney, in fact. No, I'm a nurse practitioner. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I thought you were an attorney. I'm sorry. Yeah, sorry. No. Okay. <laughs> but, um, it, you know, do you have anything to say for the people that are watching? Um, yeah, that this, this, is a, uh, this should be treated as a health emergency, not as a crime. People are going to live outside of you with really significant uh, health issues. Mm -hmm. What kind of health issues are we talking about? Uh, well, I did uh, kind of a health census a few days ago. There's folks here with emphysema, with COPD, with asthma, with PTSD, with bipolar, with really significant um, chronic musculoskeletal issues. Um, there's so many here who's hospitalized fairly recently with C. difficile, a really significant um, bacterial infection that's hard to treat. Uh, there, there's somebody here with um, bilateral uh, artificial kneecaps, there's, um, you know, it's a long list. There's folks here in wheelchairs with canes who are unable to ambulate. There's a lot of, there's a lot of health issues. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Um, and what'd you say uh, uh, on the averages uh, uh, for the homeless, uh, would you say they're, uh, is their health significantly poorer than an average person who lives in a house? Yeah, it's okay. significantly poor. Um, people who are homeless die at a significantly earlier age, um, and the rates at which they have things like heart failure, um, cirrhosis, uh, serious respiratory issues are much, much higher than the average person. Okay, uh, thank you very much. Speaking of which, of health problems, I'm going to smoke a cigarette, so if I'm not saying anything, I'm a little tired to, today, folks. Uh, I'm, I've been here for the last four days. Here, I've been embedded with the, uh, with the homeless. Uh, matter of fact, uh, I'm temporarily homeless myself, so I decided that I would join the band down here and uh, advocate. Oh, you got your, uh, you got your scooter back. The sun's finally starting to come. As you can see, the sky's lighting up, and we'll get a better picture here for you. So, hang with me, folks. Uh, this is your live streamer, Freeman Sullivan. All right, if you're watching, please log on to the chat, and uh, because every time that you log on and you uh, enter something in the chat, it tweets out for me, so I very much appreciate that because we need to build up our viewership. And uh, we're down here in, uh, at the Martin Luther King Jr. Civic Center where uh, approximately 15 police officers are currently evicting the homeless from the steps of the uh, Civic Center. And if you're in the area and you want to help out, uh, we could uh, des we could use uh, donations of tents, sleeping bags, food, medical supplies, 
Uh, there's a list. Um, and if you want to stay abreast of what is going on, uh, log on to Facebook. And uh, the group is First They Came for the Homeless. Uh, so check it out. And uh, that, is, that page is maintained on a regular basis. Uh, first They Came for the Homeless. Anyway, the, they're really rushing to get this place cleared out. Cutting uh, off my circulation here. Just a second, folks. Can I start it? Ooh. There we go. Oh. Just a second here, I'm trying to get organized, folks. Yeah, basically, uh, these people have been ignored by the city government. Uh, there's not been one. There's not been one elected official that has come down here to speak with the homeless. Basically, their attitude is let's beat them up and move them on. Move out. Get the fuck out of here, or you will be beaten and arrested. What are we doing, American citizens are under attack? What? Standing up and fighting back? Stand up and fighting back. <laughs> I'm actually surprised. Uh, police here are relatively disorganized. Uh, whoever's commanding this, whoever's the watch commander on this isn't doing a very good job but at least they're not beating people today uh, we had four people that were sent to the hospital uh, three days ago by police uh, where police were violently arrested at the corner of Fairview and Adeline in South Berkeley Rod old Ray God, he's our man. Okay. Uh, Ronald Reagan, uh, we don't want to use his real name, but because uh, he's not here uh, lawfully. Uh, so we don't want to get him into trouble, but he's been our artist down here. And uh, the gentleman with the that's walking right now. Anyway, he's a wonderful artist and he's been painting murals for us down here at the Berkeley Civic Center. Uh, some beautiful stuff. Uh, as soon as it gets bright, we've hung it in several places around here. And we're going to get you more pictures here. So, and the sun is slowly rising. Uh, during the daytime, the weather here in Berkeley is actually quite wonderful. Uh, it does get up to 765 and 70 degrees most of the winter uh, but at night it does cool off uh, we don't get the freezing temperatures that most places in the United States uh, endure in the winter but uh, it does get cold enough here to where you're, if you get wet you can die from hypothermia <laughs> If anybody makes a store run, let me know. I really am desperate need of some milk. I've got acid reflux really bad. Yeah, I usually don't get it. 
But uh, this morning, and you know, naturally when the police are here, you know. Okay, I played on. I played on staying here for the duration. Well, that's why I come out here. That's why I'm here, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I specifically came out here for this to cover this to Basically, I'm here, and anybody who's been watching my broadcast knows that I uh, I work really hard at keeping people from getting beaten by the police, and uh, and uh, those of you who are watching know that I've saved countless demonstrations and demonstrators from getting their asses kicked by the cops and uh, you know for people that are watching at Occupy Wall Street, Occupy Oakland, Occupy San Francisco uh, where I was on the scene and uh, you know for those of you watching you are our safety net uh, so do watch this and do tweet it out uh, because we're only as good as your support we're only as good as the people that are watching our broadcasts right and also um, we have another live streamer that's here uh, could you give us a name and the page where you're watching? She's on Facebook Live. I'm on Facebook Live right now under Melissa Dewey. It's a public feed, so please tune in. Could I'll be feeding until my, well, no, not even until my phone dies. My backup battery is going to charge. So. Okay, and uh, what, how do you, uh, that's Melissa with two S's, M-E-L-I-S-S-A, Dewey, D-E-W-E-Y. Um, and she's on Facebook Live right now, so if you want to, Switch for my live stream if my live stream happens to go down. Mine has some excellent commentary because I like to make jokes. <laughs> Any jokes you want to tell? No, I don't got nothing right now. I oh. can't be put on the spot like that. They just come to my head. Okay. I'm just teasing anyways. Mine are usually sarcastic and kind of uh, very British. Okay. okay. So that's Melissa Dewey on Facebook Live. So if my live stream goes down, uh, you can log on and... Uh, see her account. Uh, also earlier this week, uh, uh, a candidate for supervisor here in District 2 in Berkeley, uh, Nancy Templeton uh, with District 2 was uh, asking uh, police uh, questions and she was arrested for lynching, which is basically trying to the try to free somebody who's in police custody. And basically that was a law that was written to stop lynch mobs from coming and hanging uh, people without uh, due process. At any rate, she was arrested and released from custody on $55,000 bond. Um, she's not down here at this moment because she has a court date today. Uh, here, I'm not real sure of where her court appearance is, uh, but she is uh, being tried in Alameda County, uh, so that most likely would be in downtown Oakland. But again, nobody has been arrested so far. Uh, there are no injuries to report. Thankfully. Uh, because where are these folks going to go? If you get injured and you're homeless out here, a lot of people say, well, why don't the homeless stick up for themselves a little better? Well, here's a classic example of what's going on. And uh, uh, basically, if you get injured by the police, you get released from the hospital as quickly as possible. And you're back out here on the streets now with a severe injury. So when you ask why right, you ask why homeless people don't stand up more for themselves. Well, you know, homeless folks are under extreme duress. Every day is a struggle for survival. Um, you know that as we spoke to our nurse practitioner who comes out here, uh, you'll know that 
homeless people have significantly shorter lifespans than the average uh, population because they have to deal with the elements constantly even here in sunny California because despite what you may think and you're hearing about the California drought it does rain here Second, so hold on. I gotta get, I gotta get some water, folks. And uh, would you like to say anything to the viewers out here that are watching right now? Well, yeah, I think that the city need would would benefit from providing uh, affordable housing for the homeless people of the community. Maybe efficiency, one bed, one room efficiency apartment for people of, of low income. I think that would be beneficial for everybody. Nice tie, by the way. He looks nice this morning. So there you go. services and homes for the homeless so just remember that every police officer salary each one of these cops is basically earning an average of $120,000 a year and recently the Berkeley City Council gave more money to the cops there's always money for the police there's never any money for the homeless here in the city of Berkeley um, and that's why homeless people have come out here and banded together uh, because we demand that Berkeley the Berkeley City Government takes notice of the homeless and actually does something to help people that are out on the streets instead of calling the fucking police. So, uh, what do they call there you go. Uh, what do they call the police? Well, I'm saying the city government. Right? They don't, they'd rather call the police than actually send social workers down here to talk to people to actually do something to get them off the street. So there's always money for cops. There's never any money for homeless people. Yeah, we have between uh, we have about 15 police officers that are down here. The, uh, the difference between 
Friday and, and today is the difference of all those YouTube and Facebook pictures. They got caught and they looked ugly. Yeah, it was very ugly, yes. And, and, and uh, all of a sudden people are saying, what the hell is going on in Brooklyn? Well, this, this is a whole different, you know, I expected the same kind of police riot as, as Friday. Okay. And it was, it was like, oh no, we're just hanging out. Yeah, uh, they have been uh, much uh, more polite than they were. The other the other day, they were actually going, uh, get the fuck up, and uh, they physically attacked uh, four people that we know about, uh, possibly more people. You want to take some of these? Uh, no, I'm actually reporting right now. Oh, you are? Okay, good. But maybe later. Okay, good. Yeah, give me a... Give me a few more seconds and I'll start putting the camera again. This is your your live streamer. Here you go. In all my glorious beauty, folks. So we're out here in the city of Berkeley. Oh, and I'm dealing with a bad case of acid reflux. Trying to drink enough water to cool my belly off. And for those of you who know me, that I am disabled and it's very hard for me to walk. So I'm out here uh, reporting from a wheelchair. Although I'm not the first to do it. Second boat. There we go. Ugh. How many homeless beds did you crush in that garbage? I certainly hope you don't work for the city this place. They really suck. Uh -huh. You ever study any anarchist history? Probably not, they don't teach it in college. Apparently we can't move to Old City Hall because it's also city property, which is public property, but it's city property, so it's not public property, but it is public property, so it's our property, but it's city property, so it's Right now, police are still power washing the uh They're the making a large mess is what they're doing, and they should be ashamed of themselves. All that water they're wasting, we're in a drought, god damn it.
I'll roll around here in a minute, folks, uh, to get you some more pictures. And as you can see on the right hand side of the screen, the uh, Berkeley uh, Department of Public Works is out here and they're power washing the steps. I'm going to try to roll here a little closer if I can to give you some pictures from the front of the building. And so far, police have remained polite. There are Berkeley's very much an anti smoke in the city. So let's roll a little closer here. I don't know if you can see it. Let me move a little closer. But you can see the blood. One of the city workers going into City Hall right now as she's walking up the steps. Not yeah. This is where all the city business is being conducted. Well, now that we're getting a little light, I can give you some better pictures of what's going on out here.
actually, it's called Berkeley Public Works and not Berkeley DPW. Yeah, they still haven't been able to wash all the paint off the steps yet. I've been here for the past, uh, been vetted here with the homeless uh, for the past four days, uh, hanging out. I, and I know most of these folks. Um, I've organized with them in the past. Uh, they're members of Occupy. Uh, that's how I met a lot of people here. And uh, anyway, it's not, this is not your ordinary group of homeless folks. And most of the homeless are congregating here, over to the left. And like I said again, uh, police have been exceedingly polite today. Uh, I guess that's because they don't want any more, rack up any more lawsuits against the uh, city of Berkeley. Uh, because the homeless folks here do plan on suing for damages. And that water I drank actually helped my uh, my acid reflux, so I'm feeling a little better. Yeah, thanks uh, there, Liberty Sun, for uh, posting Melissa's uh, URL. Uh, but that's if I go down. I uh, actually, I don't care if you want to switch over there. I'm more than happy. Uh, we're probably we're, I'm not here to to become the most popular live streamer on the internet. Um, I'm here to document what's going on and to protect the homeless from getting attacked by the police. Anyway, now you can see the blood zone. I'm going to move back over to where the homeless folks are in a minute. And we'll get some more interviews and we'll talk to some more people about exactly what's going around on around here. We do have an LG present. Um, have you done? Have you seen anything? Um, uh, how how are the police been acting today? Uh, basically, uh, um, uh, they chose not to do a lightning strike this morning. Okay. Has um, anybody been arrested or charged with anything so far this morning? Not since I've been here. I haven't heard the whole time. Okay. Hey, could you please give your name first to last? Nancy Armstrong. Okay. And Nancy Armstrong, in fact. Um, She's running, you're running for District 2 Supervisor here in Berkeley. Uh, could you give us a statement? I mean, City Council here, I'm sorry. Um, could you give us a statement um, about uh, how you feel about this uh, for our viewers that are watching? Okay. All right. Um, hopefully, uh, when you're done legal observing, we'll be able to get you a few minutes so you can talk to our viewers. Thank you. Anyway, uh, she was arrested for lynching uh, earlier this week uh, because she was trying to stick up for homeless folks.
So we're going to move off to the side here. Right, they got all this money to clear homeless people out and all this money to hire all these police officers, but not one dime gets spent on the homeless and housing homeless people, providing medical services, and getting people off the streets. This is the city's solution to the homeless problem. More police. So you can smile all you want, but you know that it's the truth, right? You guys get paid entirely too freaking much. And uh, we're going to work and see if we can get rid of your firearms. There's a national movement that's uh, been organized to disarm the police. Yeah, I need some milk. Coffee would just kill me this morning. Whoa. Sorry about that. I'm operating out of a wheelchair, folks, so do please, please be advised. So, uh, the homeless folks have been cleared out from the front of City Hall. No problem, no problem. Let me back up. Thank you, Officer Montgomery. Oh, that's Mike Wilson. He's one of our our uh, helpful people. I have, I'm at a loss for words in here at the moment. Um, you know, please forgive me. I'm operating on about 12 hours worth of sleep over a four-day period. All right, we're coming up here on one hour, and as soon as I get an hour, I'm going to go ahead and archive that, but uh, please stick with the broadcast. I will be back up and running. And if um, unforeseen, if the, uh, the stream drops, please stay with me because um, the stream will end when I say, this is Freeman Sullivan, blah, 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 signing up, blah, blah, blah. Um, so stick with our broadcast. Uh, there's also, um, it's up on the chat, uh, Melissa Dewey, she's... Uh, broadcasting from Facebook Live. So basically all the homeless folks have been moved down here. I'm going to go ahead and go down. I got him. I was, I was able to finally come up enough to where I was able to get enough light. So I stayed over there for a few minutes uh, live streaming it. Uh, this is Mike Zinn, by the way, uh, the lead organizer. Um, he's with a group called First. They came for the homeless. Uh, he's been active here in Berkeley for the last four years. Uh, he was uh, a member of Occupy San Francisco, and that's how we met. And uh, he's a bunch of de very dedicated activists, and he is like, not leading, but he's been shepherding the people here. Uh, and uh, without Mike Zint, uh, I pretty much believe that this home home movement would not exist. So we give our props out to Mike. Uh, Mike, um, is there? Do you have a page set up uh, where people online could donate money? Not yet, because we haven't really we haven't really cared about the money aspect. It's 
right? But but there's a lot of people out there that don't live in the Bay Area, and you know we just wanted to know if there was a place where people could send money. We're working on setting up something, but this is a homeless movement started by the homeless five years ago after they crushed the Occupy movement, and you know because we're broke. We've built everything around not having money, so now when people are offering us money, we don't know what to do. You know, and, and yeah, it would be great because the money, any money donated to us, would be used to purchase tents, tarps, and uh, sleeping bags for uh, our continued efforts. Every time the police hit us like they've done today, they they take about half of what we've done. Uh, we were lucky today; they didn't grab anything but the sign. Yeah. How would you um, how would you describe the uh, the conduct of the police as opposed? to the other day when you were on uh, uh, Fairview and Adeline? Well, Fairview and Adeline, they came in with the intent of hurting us, to scare us, to break our spirit. You know, that's everybody scared of the cops type thing. But we've been chased by the cops for years. We're not scared of the cops. That's their, they're making a mistake. The, uh, the cops came in yesterday with coffee and donuts in a way to do their little psyops apology bullshit, um, which of course didn't work, which we recognize as a psyop. And then today they came in with a different group of cops, not the same group that beat on us. And um, not as forceful, but with, with, a, with no way that they were going to allow us to stay on our property. You know, and what they're saying is public property is city property and not public. But this is the people's house. We're sitting at New City Hall. They won't let us go to Old City Hall. So, and, and there is no place for the homeless to go in Berkeley because the shelter burned down. So it's, it's either um, join us in this fight or get chased around by the cops and be exposed to the elements. Four homeless people have died here in the last few weeks because of exposure. Serious. One of my protesters is severely dehydrated, has dysentery, cannot take fluids and is not willing to go to the hospital anymore. He would rather die at this point. That's how serious it is. As we've had some signs out on the street saying uh, suicide is better than homeless. And I've got a guy here that's ready to quit his life because he's, he's sick of it. And, I mean, this is, this is disgusting. This is the world, well, the country that we live in at this point, and nobody wants to get off their butts and do what's necessary Excuse to change me, it, sir. Except the homeless. Excuse me, sir. I appreciate the fact that you want, you want to be my next door neighbor. But quite frankly, until you make the front page of the Daily Cal, I'm not moving next to you. I'm going to go up to you. Fuck you. I move two lots of right. That's Mike Lee. He's running for uh, uh, mayor in Berkeley. So if you're, uh, you live in Berkeley and you're a registered sorry, voter, sir, you're uh, remember to vote sorry. for Mike Lee for yeah. a Berkeley mayor. Fuck that. Uh, bro, I'm, I'm a mayoral candidate. You didn't be treating yeah. me very right, easy today. See, you know what really pisses really me off? What really makes me motherfucking mad as hell is they didn't bring me no motherfucking donuts and coffee this morning. But they yeah. did yesterday, so... Yeah, they... Oh, that was, here, that here, was here, fucking here, yesterday. Here, that was I yesterday. Know. I'm talking hey, about today. I thought you were going to get a hot breakfast out of them today. Stop photo bombing. Hey, uh, so here I got a picture of the place. They're talking about the lot. They're talking about the lot. Oh. Uh, we have to shut off the sound for a second. Actually, I want to take this opportunity to restart the live stream. So, 